is a Storm Team Alert, certified as Central New York's most accurate. Yeah, Storm Team Alert, because the temperatures are going in the wrong direction today, and because they're going so low, the health departments are warning you to be vigilant against hypothermia and frostbite. Yeah, and right now, to stay safe, you can just stay indoors as much as possible. Of course, all of us have to get out. So if you have to get out, just dress warmly with some layers and make sure you cover any exposed skin. And if your shoes or clothes get wet, just change into something dry as soon as possible. Now, already this morning, tractor trailers and commercial buses have been banned from several western New York highways. You can't have them on the thruway between Rochester and the Pennsylvania state line. They've also been banned from I-190 and I-290 in the Buffalo-Niagara Falls region and State Route 400 as well. And then, starting at noon, the big rigs and commercial buses will be banned from Interstate 81 between the Canadian border and the Mexico exit in Oswego County. Well, the Housing and Homeless Coalition of Central New York will be doing its annual point in time count today with more than 70 volunteers and staff heading out in the cold to find anyone living without shelter in Onondaga, Oswego, and Cayuga County. Last year, there were 722 men, women, and children experiencing homelessness in Central New York. A 13-year-old boy now faces charges in the shooting death of a 14-year-old girl in Syracuse. Maya Colleen was shot to death last Tuesday on the south side of Syracuse inside a home on Valentine Road. This 13-year-old boy now faces manslaughter and weapons charges. He's due back in court this Friday.